Today, I lace up the brand new Epic Hawk. Today, I'm going to show you how to string up the new Epic Hawk with a King Pocket. We're going to be using our 15 mil LE Ion Mesh that is only available at sportstop.com. I have a link in the description to where you're able to pick it up. First thing you're going to want to do is put in a nine diamond top string. We're doing this because we're stringing a King Pocket and also because it's best to form a higher pocket, which the Epic Hawk is ideal for. I opted to do a triangle top in here just for preferences, pulls the mesh a little bit tighter and gives it a really cool look. Now that our nine diamond top is done, I'm gonna put in one side and then show you how to do the other. With one sidewall in, I'm now gonna show you how to do the other sidewall. Grab your other sidewall and do a double knot. We're gonna start on the second hole down from the top. We're gonna to come in from the inside out, around through the plastic, back through the same hole, and through that same diamond again. This is going to lock our first 10 diamond row to the top of the head and help you form that high pocket. Then put the string in the next hole from the back to the front. Make sure the string is laying perfectly flat. We are going to skip two holes and come into the fifth hole from the outside in. And we're gonna come up in between the string and the mesh. And this will form a SI, also known as a special interlock. On the third diamond, we're gonna come from the underneath, not over like we did on the previous diamond. We're going to skip two holes again and come from the outside in and place the string again in between the sidewall string and the side of the mesh. Here you can see me put the string in between the sidewall and the side of the mesh. This will form a one eye. I like to use these because they will focus your channel to the inside, giving you the most amount of hold. Next, we're going to form our pocket. And since we're doing a high pocket, we want to double up. So we're gonna go under the mesh and under the mesh and then bunch it up. This is going to make a nice deep pocket towards the top of the head. Then we're gonna come from the outside in, around, and lock it down. We are not going to go back in the diamond again, and this makes a two. We are now gonna continue down the head with one, so come from underneath the mesh, go from the outside in, and lock down that piece as we did with the two. This is called a one. Repeat that same one for the next diamond and the next hole. We are now going to stretch the mesh down the head to retain the high pocket shape. We're going to do a one again, but we're going to skip a hole in between. So it's from underneath the mesh, you go from the inside out and lock it down, but you skip a hole. To repeat that same step, come underneath the mesh, skip a hole from the inside out and lock it down. This final knot is an interesting one that I've been using for many years now, and most people call it a J-I. What you're going to do is the same exact thing you just did, come underneath the mesh, skip a hole from the inside out, and lock it down, but then you're going to put the string back in through the top of the mesh, and put it through the far right throat hole, and tie a knot. Moving on to the throat string, tie a simple knot in your string and start on one of the middle holes go into the head, come back through the outer one, and we're gonna come up through the eight diamond row on the last set of diamonds. Repeat the same weaving on the other side of the head, so we're going from the inside out on the outside hole. And then inside out on the inside hole. Pull the throat tight to help you to find your high pocket and tie a knot. You have now completed the stringing for a king pocket and epic hawk. As for the shooters, I like to do a straight nylon with a stacked shooter and then a six and four diamond U, but this is all preference. I find this to give you the most hold and powerful release without excess amount of whip.
When doing shooters, remember slow is steady and steady is fast. I will be stringing these with thrown lace because they string fast and they lay flat. Two important things to stringing. When shooters are not laid perfectly flat, they will have an inconsistent release between passing and shooting. When tying your thrown lace, you need to remember left over right and right over left. This will secure your shooters and prevent them from having extra bulk. If you enjoyed this lace up, please throw the video a like. In the comments below, let me know what head you'd like to see me lace up next. to it. Um, the Ion has a really, really cool look to it. It's got, it goes from black to gray and there's a chunk of white